240 volt for in the awning. Do you see that or not? Handy little step. There's your uh, 240 volts in. fridge vents and that's where you fill the water up there's a, I think you see it there's a massive uh, um, 80 liter uh, water to cold water tank outside that's the exhaust for the air spatcher let's uh, go through the front first the, uh, the electric windows work without the ignition something I wanted uh, when you sat in the back you don't want to keep reaching over to crack a window and turn the ignition on all the time you've got the uh, captain seats just lift it they spin round to the back use the uh, sat nav and the uh, transit comes standard with a cigarette lighter in this top glove box so I've bought a lead put a double one in then and that runs the sat nav and also the dash cam which mounts up there this reverse the, the reversing camera and screen only come on when it goes into reverse you've got uh, this is handy um, it's got uh, a, a charge relay in it so at the moment the light, the green light isn't on. Um, that means when I start it up, the van is charging the leisure batteries, um, turn it off. Uh, the solar panel um, is charging the leisure batteries as well. So that carries on and charges the van batteries as well. If you use, in the evenings, if you use too much of the uh, leisure batteries, which I've got 240 amp hour batteries on, um, and the van batteries go to down to 12.6 .6, and it'll automatically turn itself off. So uh, it's no longer using the van batteries and uh, so you only ever ever flatten the, uh, the leisure batteries which they'll go down to uh, 11 something anyway they will which is uh, very handy. Um, I changed the, uh, the socket for they don't come with cigarette lighters in the uh, passenger glove box, but the hole is just right to get one of those nice double USB uh, sockets in to be able to charge my phone up. Which then I just put the wire up through the top and sit the phone on the top. Um, the uh, the drive uh, the passenger seat that uh, I can pull the handle and. Uh, It'll, it, it rotates round, so I, I haven't cleaned the dog hair up, that's their cushion, so they can see through the windows when they're driving, and uh, that spins round, quite lovely, He's, uh, there you go, and then uh, you can go through into the back, I'll shut the driver's door, because the kids on the estate tend to nick things off the dashboard, right, we got got, uh, Got a demountable. Let me turn the lights on. Got a demountable table there. That uh, that just lifts out and off the runner down on the side there. Um, there is a double socket down there, but I, as you can see, I leave my laptop uh, charger plugged in, and uh, uh, then I've got four spare. Uh, three, yeah, four spare sockets. Uh, it's always handy. Um, sometimes I have the USB. Uh, in there to charge my uh, tablet um, underneath underneath the carpet you've got the uh, hole to be able to put your table in very very handy and uh, we'll go uh, as you can see uh, it's in use I, it's in use all every day um, that's the access to the uh, under the bed you can also pick the bed up the bed I leave down as a single um, it does it does draw right out up to the units to be able to get a double you know two people in but single I don't need a, a double bed um, we've got uh, I've got the TV strap back which is on a, a wall bracket it's the satellite receiver 
I've changed the sockets for sockets with USB in. They're always handy. Yeah, the lights have turned off again. Um, that's uh, because the light, the interior lights. We got uh, the, the the 240 volt lights, which are there, um, and that one is the movement sensor for the 12 volt lights. The plug there, which I put uh, a long fluorescent into the uh, uh, awning when that's up. We got uh, overhead storage over the top of the cab, where we keep you know. I don't know all the junk really, uh, the awnings under there, all the, the, the flaps, the ground sheet, uh, all the tubes are right at the front of it. Um, it's got a light inside. That's all my storage for my f um, wash gear and everything. And then I keep the food and everything in that cupboard. Uh, I always keep those curtains shut because that's right behind the driver. I can't see through that when I'm driving along, but uh, when, you, when you look, when you pull up at a junction a bit awkward, you can see through that window to see if there's anything coming. Um, the uh, sliding door, the window's open, which is a nice breath, a breath of fresh air. Um, as you can see, we use all LED lights. We've got uh, strip lights underneath. Um, my tea, my coffee, cups and everything stored up there. This is your Zig unit. That's all the lighting panels. That's to turn the boiler on when it's on gas. Uh, that turns the power to the inverter on. You've got the interior lights, a, a rear interior light up there. Uh, that one's this, this kitchen light. Uh, that's the toilet light. You've got your Zig unit. When you're on site, you turn, you turn it on and you turn your charger on, which then will charge the batteries. But I've never really used it because the solar, that really, really charges the batteries up in no time. 13.5 is getting pushed out of the panel and we'll turn the, uh, the leisure battery on. That's to the leisure battery. What's that? That's nearly 13 volts. Right. And uh, on the van battery, we're just, you know, that's nearly 13 volts. As I say, when, uh, when you're parked up like this and that switch is on on the dashboard, it uh, charges the van up as well. So, you know, it, it they balance out. So you, you, you never have a van battery flat. USB fan is plugged into, that's lovely that, love plugged into the uh, solar as well, so that's not sucking any power whatsoever. As I say, on that 240 volt socket there, um, I use another one there, which uh, is ideal. That's where the dogs usually slept down this end. I've got a laptop there at the moment. All right, on this side, we've got uh, the uh, carbon monoxide, which is, uh, what am I saying, it's 22 degrees in here now. It was 21 earlier. Um, you've got a nice shelf above everything. As I say, you've got a uh, smoke alarm, and that's another carbon monoxide and smoke alarm. All right, um, let's go down to the fridge. Let's uh, just unclamp. And it's a typical male fridge, look. It's got nothing but beer. There's no food in there whatsoever. And I say it is in use every day. Um, there, that is the intake for the Eberspacher diesel, diesel heater. So it's sucking the sort of warmed air, the cold air off the floor, because heat rises. So it's taking the cold air off the floor, rewarming it up again, and it comes out of there and blows under the bed. So uh, when, when the bed's out, it uh, comes all the way out around the outside. Inside this cupboard, uh, what have I done with the light? I don't know whether I don't think you can see in that cupboard yet. Let me get a light. Right, oh, I'll show you the bathroom first. Then there's the bathroom. Right, got uh, your, your, your toilet and uh, your flush shower tray. It's it's all lit up by LED. Uh, I've got my shower curtain and my dressing gown and everything hung up there. And uh, let's go for a light. Let's turn it on. Oh, that's a lot better, isn't it? All right. Right, come down there. Right, right, right below the uh, the microwave because of course the wheel arches are uh, impeding into it all. Um, you've got the leisure batteries in there. The two leisure batteries, totaling 220 amp uh, amp hour. Um, we've got a socket in it, and up on the top there 
Can you see? Yes, you can see it. There's the inverter, which is a kilowatt, thousand watts. Um, it uh, it is ideal. It's great. Got a, another set of leads there. So if I do have a, a battery in the awning um, to run the, uh, a light outside, when I'm driving along, I can put another battery outside and charge it back up. Um, there's the microwave. Oh, that's unusual. It's clean for a change. <laughs> Let's have a look. Uh, if I put that up on there, uh, we've got uh, a sink which has removable tops. All right, we've got hot and cold running water. All right, so put that back on. There's the draining board. That's your draining board. Yeah. You got that's where I put the 240 volt kettle. But uh, you got uh, three burner hob. That's great. With a grill, the grill's under there, which is uh, constantly in use. That is, I usually uh, stick a pie or something in there just to brown him off and crisp him. Let's turn the light around and we'll move over to there. Right, the wardrobe. Let's uh, undo the catch. Right. It's got internal lights as well. Let's turn those on. I've got a handy rack for all my clothes in there. On the back of the door, I got one of those tidies, and uh, there's the RCD unit. So uh, you know, I've got LED lights everywhere in this thing. No power suck on it whatsoever. There we go. And directly below there, um, of course, the wheel arches are behind these. I've got the spare cushions, and there's some shelving behind. And uh, then the far corner, I keep the. Uh, the blue and everything the chemicals for the toilet underneath the fridge you've got another one i keep uh, a blow heater the awning curtains and uh, the covers and what have you in there then when we go further to the back um i don't know whether you can see it but that that's the uh, brush off the bottom that you buy from b and q to uh, put at the bottom of the doors so they uh, sweep the floor and keep it uh, the draft it out the uh, just about the right length if you have the the deep one and screw it to the um, non-opening door this is the, the normal opening door I change I change the locks for a minibus one look you know they're they're, they're only about seven quid on eBay and uh, it stops the draft and uh, that little cupboard there is the cupboard for emptying the toilet uh, take the chemical toilet out of there Got more hanging space, and uh, I think uh, I'll take you outside now. Yeah, did I say I got my tea and my coffee up there above that one? Got uh, the roof light there, which has got the fly net, and it's also got the blind up this end, which is clamped back at the moment. Let's have a look. That's it. So it does. It does slide across. I, I just put a clip on it just to stop it when you're driving along. Stop it closing. As I say, the uh, driver's side's got an opening window as well. And I'll take you into the back. I'll take you into the back. Then there's the step. Oh, it's bright out here. Oh, nice warm. Right, there's the brush. You can see it. That's where the table stored for the front. Yeah, store that on there. This end, I've got the fire extinguisher and the blanket, and uh, got the gas stored into a metal-lined cupboard, which is supposed to be law, but uh, DBLA don't always pick up on it. I store my ramps in there, spare uh, gas things gas regulators, but as I say, you can only access that through the back end, so, but as you can see, I've only got the bed part out, so, right, I hope that's answered a few of your questions, there's one or two marks on it, you know, you've got to expect that, it's uh, 2006, so, Canopy on there at the moment. 
but I do have a drive away, which is above the cab, as they say. So, alright. That's, uh, that's all I can tell you about it. If you've got any questions, please ask. Thanks again. Bye-bye.